Hey guys, it's Di and I wanted to do an updated 2012 Louis Vuitton handbag collection. I believe the last video that I did was about a year, year and a half ago, so I've had some changes since then. And I just wanted to show you my updated collection as of today. So starting down here at the right, these are the bags that I've had the longest and unfortunately are probably also my least used bags right now. Um, but this is a, the Montegruel GM size, the larger size here in the front. And it's a great shoulder bag. It's got lots of room on the inside and some nice little details. I don't think I use this one as much because I discovered when I was doing the viewer request videos that it's pretty much the exact same shape as a different Louis Vuitton bag that I have. So I'll show you that towards the end of the video and see what you think. Um, the Never Full, this is the Damier Bean color and this is the MM size. And I haven't used this a ton since I had kids because it doesn't have the zipper on the top and it's totally open. So I'm always afraid of things kind of falling out when my bag gets slung on my shoulder or I'm leaning over to do something with them. But it's still a great bag for traveling and I still have it in my collection. So I'm figuring out whether or not I'm going to use it ever in the future right now actually. But moving on, the next thing that I have is the Totally MM in the Azure color. And I got this a year ago, actually almost exactly last year in February. And I love this bag. I used it in spring and summer. And you can see that it kind of developed a nice tan there, a nice patina on the leather. And it's great because it's got the zipper, it's got ample room on the inside, some pockets to keep you organized. But then it's got these nice pockets on the exterior, which were great just to throw my keys down inside those. And then I also would just maybe throw random things for my daughter down inside last year. I would find like a rattle on the side at the end of the summer or something like that. So I always carry a diaper bag separate for them, but it's kind of nice just to have that little bit of extra space just in case. So the next bag over here, which is a newer addition, is the Tavoli GM size, and I love this bag. I don't have anything negative to say about it at all. I love that it comfortably fits on the shoulder, and then also that it, of course, zips up. It's got great organization in the side as well, and it's comfortable you know regardless of wearing your if you're wearing a sweater or coat I found that it is just a really comfortable bag to use and I love the details on it the pleating and the little hanging zipper pull this is the bag that I actually realized was about the same style shape wise as the Montreal and my preference out of these two would be the Tavoli so once I saw these two bags sitting side by side for the first time the other day, I realized, oh, that's probably why I keep using the Tavoli instead of reaching for the Monty. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet, but, um, you know, they're both great bags, but I really like the detailing on the Tavoli a little bit better. And then also... Um, I had the Palermo GM and it was a little bit too big for me, so I ended up getting the PM size and I love this. This is the bag that I used last winter and it's great because it looks really cute handheld with the two hand straps, but then it's also got the longer strap that you can, um, I found out the other day you can wear this crossbody. I don't typically wear bags crossbody, but you can wear this one crossbody and it looks really great on your shoulder. I use it with the strap to put on my shoulder and I just I love these two styles these two came out around the same time uh, I think it was in 2007 and they have like these little uh, Louis Vuitton kind of charm things on the zipper pull and I I just think it's really cute so I like the pleating on those also and these just have really nice details so out of my monogram bags which I only have three of them that are bag bags um but those are two are probably my favorite. And then little tiny bag accessories. I usually throw these in an accessory video too, but I still have my monogram pochette and it still has a Nintendo DS inside of it. So that's pretty much what that's for. And then a new addition that I've gotten is the Eva, which I'm really looking forward to using this a little bit more. I just got this in January. And this will be my one exception. I will wear this crossbody. I'm thinking that this will be a really great bag to like go into like Chicago with, or um, it'll also be great to go to the park with the girls. I was thinking I could just throw like a little zippy coin purse in there, my cell phone, my keys, and then this would be great just to sling crossbody and wear to the park. So I'm looking forward to trying that out a little bit more. 
And then my Brea, I got this in October of last year, and I, of course, have a dedicated video just to this bag. But um, I really like it. It's a great ladylike bag that's just really beautiful. And it's got lots of organization on the inside, some pockets, a little zippered area. And it doesn't quite hold as much as some of my other bags, but I love that it has the option just, you know, need to buy an extra strap separately or anything. It came with this extra strap and can be handheld. So this has been just kind of a nice variety in my collection, I think, more so than anything else. Then last but not least is the Imperente Luminesce bag, which I just got and just did a video on also. And I actually haven't had a chance still, I know, I know, <laughs> to use this one. I've got um, some, like a bubble wrap pillow inside of it right now to help it keep its shape. But um, it's it's really growing on me. I know I was kind of wishy-washy when I made the video, but I really, really like it. And I think that it's going to be a nice kind of addition to my collection and something different from anything else that I have because I don't obviously have any other full leather bags from Louis Vuitton. So I think it'll be something just kind of a little bit different and I will definitely follow up with a review on that. So this is my current collection as of, what is this? I don't know what the day is right now, but it's February 2012. And the only thing I'm really thinking is I'm kind of perplexed about the Tavoli and the Monty situation and kind of trying to figure out whether I really need two bags that are the same, if maybe I needed to kind of reassess the situation. I know I really like the Westminster bag that's out, which is a Damier a being bag that has a zipper so I'm mulling right now as far as maybe if I did something with those two maybe a Westminster would be my future I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do but anyhow um, these are my bags as of right now and I really you know for the most part I love all the decisions that I've made and I think that I've got some good sizes that work for every day and especially some bags the ones with the zippers and the fit on the shoulder that work for kind of a mommy on the go. So thanks for watching and I'll upload an accessories video probably in the next week or so whenever I can get a chance to pull them all out. So have a great day. Thanks for watching.